Welcome back at 814. You may have heard that eating honey, local honey, can help people with seasonal nasal allergies uh, compared to options like over-the-counter allergy medications or regular visits to an allergist. But uh, a dose of honey may seem appealing, but allergists are telling you not so fast. Dr. Rena Mehta from Uptown Allergy and Asthma is here uh, to help us navigate uh, this, this world of honey myths, if you will. Mm -hmm. Dr. Mehta, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So what is... I guess help people understand what the myth long has been as it pertains to especially local honey. Right, so when bees make honey, the thought is that they gather a lot of different kinds of pollen from flowers and it creates almost like this nectar. And so the myth or thought is, is that if you eat a lot of local honey, then you can maybe theoretically desensitize yourself to your allergens by eating the pollen. But the truth is the science just isn't there for that. So they really haven't had any evidence-based peer review articles that suggest that this would help. Um, and so the data is just not there for this. The other thing you were telling me in commercial break is, sure, bees may gather uh, pollen from different plants, but it's, it's, there's no way of knowing how much pollen they're gathering or uh, if it's the pollen that you have an allergy to or if it's enough of that pollen. So. It, it's real it, in each batch is different. So exactly is that kind right. of where all of the confusion about that's, if it actually works comes in? That's exactly right. So if you have pollen allergy, that's usually pollen that's aerosolized. It's in the air. So like oak trees, ragweed, things like that. When bees make their honey, they're gathering these, this thicker pollen and it's not usually as allergenic. It doesn't get aerosolized. It creates more like a nectar. They're getting it from flowers. And so the thought is, is that if you're eating the local honey, it's probably not exactly the pollen that you're truly allergic to. And so while it's not going to hurt you, it's probably not going to help a whole lot because it's not very specific for your type of pollen allergy. So how would honey or attempting to treat your pollen allergies with honey differ from treating your allergies, let's say, with allergy shots in your office? That's say. a great question. So when someone has allergies and we figure out what they're allergic to, we can create almost like a cocktail or serum, we call it, where we can take the things that they're allergic to and give them injections over a gradual period of time to shift that immune response from thinking it's allergic to helping to build a tolerance. But it's very measured out. As opposed to honey, it's, we don't know what's in it. We don't know, is this the type of pollen you're reacting to? How much pollen is in there? And so if you're eating it every single day, there is, it, there's a lot of variability. There, it's not measured out, it's a bit sloppy. You just don't know how much you're actually getting enough to elicit that immune response to get desensitized. And with the shots, it's catered to specifically to each person and to each and every single allergy they have specific dosing, specific injection. I mean, just there's so many more specifics when you're dealing with your doctor. That's exactly right. So we measure every single dose, every single thing is, is perfectly measured, whereas that's the difference with pollen. Now listen, or with honey. Honey is not gonna be harmful, but we ask you that, you know, like, hurt? listen, if you like honey, it's soothing, you know, and if you feel like it helps, it may be more of a placebo effect, but you know, it's not gonna hurt, except the American Academy of Pediatrics does not measure, does not recommend giving honey to ages one and younger because of the risk of botulism. So that okay. is the one age group that should not have honey at all, but you know, if you're older and it's pollen season and you want to try it to see if it helps, sure, but don't be surprised if it just doesn't do a whole or lot. Or if you want to put it in your tea if you're having a sore throat. It still works for those sort of things, but yeah. not to necessarily treat pollen allergies. That's exactly right. That's so interesting. Dr. Meta, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you. Thank you for having me.